got one. What the? <laughs> <laughs> is that your credit card number? Yeah, I can, it is. I can show you. The Call it high-tech hijacking. Thieves able to steal your credit card information without laying a hand on your wallet. It's brand new technology. And it's already leaving nearly 140 million people at risk for electronic pickpocketing. On your side, investigator Scott Knoll has more in a story you will see only on 3. It all centers around radio frequency identification technology, or RFID. You'll find it in everything from your passport to credit and debit cards. It's supposed to make paying for things faster and easier. Just scan the card and you paid. But as you're about to see, it could also make things a lot easier for crooks trying to rip you off. In a crowd, Walt Augustinowitz blends right in. And that's the problem. If I'm walking through a crowd and I get near people's bank pocket and their wallet, I just have to get that close to it, and there's my credit card number and expiration on the screen. Armed with a credit card reader he bought for less than 100 bucks online and a netbook computer, we put Augustinowitz to the test. Patrolling Beale Street, looking for RFID chips to read, credit card information to steal. There you go. It's a MasterCard. Yeah, that's right. That's it. There you go. And uh, I, right now I got the middle blocked off here, but uh, mm. that your number and expiration date? Mm. Even people who thought there was no way we could pick their pocket electronically without laying a hand on them. I'd say no, you can. Soon found out, yes, we could. You have a SunTrust card in there, and that's your account number and expiration date. I can actually show you here the entire number. What do you think? I don't like it. Neither did she. Her card captured two. And that's just too, too, too vulnerable easy. for everyone yep. to... to take advantage of you. Even scarier, Augustinowitz says bad guys could work a crowd stealing numbers, then email them anywhere in the world. You know, after a game here, I yeah. you know, could literally probably pull a couple thousand cards. Credit card numbers, expiration dates, and in some cases, even your name. Enough, Augustinowitz says, to do damage. We've done it. We picked up the phone, called 800 numbers, ordered stuff under a fake name, shipped to a, a foreclosed home, and the product comes in the mail. It's not just your credit and debit cards at risk. While harder to hack, all U.S. passports issued since 2006 contain RFID technology that can be read and swiped. Yeah, it gives me a lot of personal information like your date of birth, your photo if I wanted to make some sort of ID. Augustinowitz is founder of Identity Stronghold. His company markets secure sleeves and ID holders meant to block RFID hacking. Among his customers, the U.S. government. As soon as I squeeze this, it can read it. But then when I have it closed, it can't read it. So is Augustinowitz just a boogeyman trying to scare people into buying a product, or is the threat real? We showed video of Augustinowitz in action to computer security expert Mark Gillinson. It's, it's a, a potentially a major problem. Gillinson calls it technology run wild. He calls our findings compelling. I think people do need to be concerned and should be aware. And um, we'll see if this becomes a major problem. And that's the big question. Experts at the Identity Theft Resource Center tell WREG on your side investigators they've never seen a case of RFID skimming used to steal information. But Augustinowitz believes that's because the crime could easily go untraced. Unsuspecting people falling victim to just another face in the crowd, hidden scanner in hand. You have a chase card. Yeah? Yeah, here's the expiration date and your number. I can actually. That's it? Yeah. That's it? You might as well. Sit there and print your credit card number across your t-shirt and walk around with it because it's the same difference. In about one hour on Beale Street, we scanned 26 people. Five of them, nearly 20%, had cards with RFID chips. Now, to see if your card has the chip, just look for this symbol. If you see it, your card could be vulnerable. We asked all the major credit card companies for their responses to what we found. We posted those statements on our website inside this story at WREG.com. For the On Your Side Investigators, I'm Scott Noll, WREG News Channel 3. That got my attention. <laughs>